What's up, y'all? It's your boy, T-Dizzle, just saying hi to the Sizzles. He is getting ready to bring you all, yes, another season calm. Today, I wanted to basically talk about something that I probably was getting ready to start doing all the time when I first started YouTube, but I realized slowly that on YouTube, it's no need to do this. And that is over preparation for commentaries. When I first started off on YouTube, I didn't know what it was like to make a commentary, what that process looked like. I just knew that you recorded the game. I knew that you somehow recorded your voice. And after I started doing research and everything, I was, I've learned more what the process was like. You gotta edit the videos, you gotta overlap the audio over the gameplay, record the gameplay, and all that good stuff. And there's a lot more if you're really trying to get down and dirty with creating a, the perfect commentary. But one thing when I first started off was over prepare for my videos. And it takes a while to start being a YouTuber, it's realizing that just be yourself that's all you have to be and it's easier said than done but getting experience you slowly start to realize that and what i mean by over preparation when i first started making commentaries i use my laptop and i would literally as sad as it sounds i can't even believe i did this but i would literally like almost type word for word what I was gonna say in my commentary. And you're like, T-Thizzle, what are you doing, bro? A commentary speaking for about five to 10 minutes, that's like, that's like a thousand plus words. Literally, I would think what I was gonna say and I would type the majority of what I was gonna say in a commentary. And the thing about that is, there are some instances where that's fine. An example is if you were doing like a parody video and you want to sound like a narrator or something like that. That might be an instance where it's necessary to write a script. But for a regular commentary, I don't think that is necessary at all. And I can't believe I did that because literally when you write out a script just to give your thoughts and opinions, what it's going to sound like is most of the time, don't, it's not going to be for everybody, but for the majority of the people I'm willing to bet, it's going to sound fabricated. The fact that you scripted everything you're going to say in your commentary on your thoughts and opinions, it's not going to sound like your thoughts and opinions. It's going to sound like somebody else fed you the information and you're basically just reading it. Now, once, like I said, it's not something that is easy to come by as a commentator. I'm not going to even lie. Something that I do think is acceptable is maybe writing a few notes. It's kind of like when you go to class. If you've been to school, you don't have time to write word for word whatever the teacher is saying so that you can review for the test later on. You jot down a couple of notes, your main points, what you want to say, um, what sparked interest in your mind. And you refer back to those later on. I would say the same thing with commentaries if you're not a freestyler. Some people, including me, I've tried my best and I'm still working on getting to the point where I can do a perfect commentary, basically freestyling. And I think I've improved a lot since the beginning, referring back on my initial videos, being able to just spit my mind and being able to relax and just let the energy flow. I feel like that's something that I've developed over time. But for those who feel like they still need guiders in doing their commentaries, I feel like just writing a few notes on your main points. If you doing a review over a game or over an article or something like that, or just some digital news, go through whatever the media is, jot down a few notes. And then when you go to do the commentary, just make sure you hit those main points. And it doesn't even have to be if you're actually doing a review over an article or something like that. If it's just an idea or a topic that you thought of, you don't think you're going to remember everything, what do you do? You just like write down something simple that you can refer back to in the future. I mean, I do it all the time. If I'm walking around and I think to myself, I remember when this happened when I was a little kid. I think I want to do 
a story time episode off of this or something that just happened to me and I think I want to do a story time. A lot of times you have so many thoughts going through your head throughout the day. You don't you can't remember everything that you were thinking. So what do I do? I just bust out my phone, go to notepad, and just jot down like a brief summary of just like a short keyword summary, like a title or something of what I was going to say or what the commentary is going to be later on. So that way you just kind of have a reference, just kind of a refresher to realize what you were going to talk about. And then you can pick it up, look through your notepad, look through your laptop, whatever it is, and just go back and do whatever you wrote down earlier. I feel like these are very helpful. But like I said, I would not go overkill with the commentary preparation, like script it scripts and stuff like that unless like I said you're doing like a parody or a narration or something like that or you're doing like subtitles and you're reading word for word and stuff like that I wouldn't do scripts because over time it, it doesn't sound genuinely you and the point of being a YouTuber is kind of to let loose kind of to just get comfortable go with the flow and you can't do that if you're constantly going through reading word for word or almost word for word what you're going to say in the commentaries you got to let loose you got to be able to just be yourself and like i said it's easier said than done but at some point it's good when you can make it and arrive to that destination this has been your boy t dizzle 88 i hope you all enjoyed this season calm i hope for the new and upcoming commentators that this was really helpful on starting and basically going through your first commentaries and stuff like that hopefully this helped out this is me your boy t dizzle 88 see you on the next vid peace out